viewers today i am explaining about ms word ms word is a one of the application in ms office how to open that one how to start ms word we want to learn first of all click start button now i am selecting ms office see here we have ms office i am clicking that one in this we want to select ms word application ms word application you can double click now ms word screen is opened first i am explaining about ms word interface here first it is called this one is title bar here it is showing document one microsoft word in ms word we are creating any files it is called documents ms word we are using to creating resumes bio data letters pamphlets text files so we are using to creating a text files next to name it is showing that's why it is called title bar under title bar right side we have a control buttons this is called control buttons here this button it is called minimize button this button it is called maximize button this button it is called closing button minimize button we are using to minimizing the screen so it's minimized maximize button we are using to maximizing the screen suppose i am clicking this one maximize means screen size it is increasing screen size it is decreasing so maximize button this is close button we want to close a ms word document we are using this close button close it is closed so again i am opening a ms word document ms word document in title bar left side we have the buttons this button it is called quick access buttons next to this is called this home insert page layout reference it is called tabs home tab insert tab this is called tabs under tabs we have a commands this bold italic underline this and all called commands this here we have font paragraph styles this is called groups this is called groups under tabs we have your groups under groups we have your commands this is called a ribbon here it is showing one scale no actually this is called vertical rural bar this is called vertical rural bar so now i want to i want to close this commands you can click home tab that all commands it is closing again if you want to open a home commands means you can click home button it is opening now i am closing the home commands you can click this button this is called rural bar actually this is vertical rural bar this is called scroll bar scroll bar we are using to scrolling the screen i mean up and down the screen suppose i am clicking down down arrow mark here under scroll bar so it is moving the screen it is moving the screen down suppose i want to move the screen up you can click the up scroll bar this is called word count area here it is showing how many words we are typed how many pages we have which language we are using suppose i am typing here i am typing something here suppose computer is a electronic device see now it is showing we have one page five words we are typed so it is counting the words this is called zoom out area zoom out area so zoom out area we are using to increasing the size decreasing the sizes see i am pressing see it is increasing the sizes you can drag here suppose i want to decrease the sizes means again you can press this key you can drag this like so zooming area it is called zooming area so paper size it is possible to increasing and decreasing zooming area we are using to zooming area next i am explaining how to type text in a ms word so where is curves where that cursor is blinking on that place only it is possible to typing a words so now i am typing one line i have typed already i want to space i want to space one word to other word we are using to space bar i am pressing space bar now so space is came now now i am typing one line i am completed i want to move on next line means you can press 
enter button in keyboard automatically you are move on to next line enter button i pressed next line you can type i want to space between one word to other word i am using space bar suppose i am typed one word here apple i want to space now space bar you can press in keyboard space is came next word you can type now i want to change a font colors font sizes for this uh, paragraph how to change i am explaining you can press home command you can press home tab here we have a commands no suppose i want to apply the home tab commands means first we want to select the data suppose i want to change a this text color sizes font styles i am using the home tab how to change first we want to select the text you can place the cursor here select now you can press the shift button and down arrow key automatically it is selecting the data after selection i want to i am applying the font font styles now here it is font styles actually you can click in this arrow mark here we have a different types of font styles which style do you want you can select it that is style of font it's came suppose i want to change again i want to change that font style you can click this arrow mark see i am selecting automatically it is changing the automatically it is changing the font styles so you can press this arrow key so different types of font styles you have which which do you want you can select it automatically that font style is changed suppose i am selecting now arial narrow arial black so this like it is coming next i want to change a font size you can click the here this arrow mark which size do you want see automatically it is changing you no know, small size big size do you want it is possible to changing the sizes of fonts this size i want okay so next to i want to change a font color this is font color you can click here which color do you want you can select it actually automatic color black it is available which color do you want you can select it automatically that color is applying so full paragraph also it is possible to changing suppose i want to change this one word you can select this one word only which color do you want you can select it now in home tab so now i want to change this that one word color so i am selecting red color see it is changed you no know? this like it is possible to changing the font colors suppose now i want to make a bold i want to make a bold letters i am using b b means bold i am pressing this one first i am taking another font color after i am using this one suppose i am selecting now arial only now i am i want to change this one to bold i am selecting bold c automatically it is become a bold color first you can select the text i am changing the font sizes suppose i am selecting arial narrow now i want to make a bold this text you can go to home button you can select bold automatically it is become a bold suppose i want to change a italic style you can click italic style see automatically it is changing the font styles suppose i want to i want to make a underline for this text you can select this underline automatically underline it is came suppose here underline styles also available you can click here which underline style do you want you can select it suppose this like which underline style do you want you can select it suppose i want to change a underline color also it is available here you can click this arrow mark here you can select underline color so i am selecting underline color also which color do you want you can select it now we learned how to make a bold letters how to make italic underline also suppose i want to remove a bold letters italic letters underline same button you want to press you can select the text we want to apply font styles and sizes bold and italic styles you can press this bold button you want to remove that one also you can click same button suppose i am pressing now bold normal letters is came suppose i want to remove a underline also 
I am pressing now underline button. Underline also removed. We want to apply the underline. We are pressing same button. We want to remove the underline also. We are pressing same button. Suppose I want to highlight this paragraph. We are using text highlight color. You can click here. Which color do you want to highlight? You can select it. See. This is called highlight color. Dislike it is possible to change in a font styles, font sizes, font colors, highlighting colors. Now I am created one file. How to save this one we want to learn. How to take new document we want to learn. Now I am created one document in MS Word. I want to take a new document now. I want to save a, save this document now. How to do that one we want to learn. So we want to save this document means you can click here file. File button you can click. Here we want to save our document. You can click save button. Save button you can click. Automatically this save command is opened. Here where you want to save your file you can select it. Suppose I want to save my document in documents. You can click documents. Here you can give me a file name. File name. Suppose I am giving computer. Now you can click save button. Now our file is saved. See in title bar it is showing our file name computer that like. Now I saved my file. I want to take a new document. You can click this file. Now new. New document you are selected means new screen. Now it is here you can select blank document. Now new screen it is opened. So you understood now how to save a file after how to take new word document. Now I took a new word document. I created one file. I saved that one. How to open existing files we want to learn. I want to open existing files means you can click file button. Here you can press open button. Open. So which file do you want? You can select it. Suppose previous I am created this computer file. So you can select your file. You can click open button. See our file is opened now. This like. Now I opened a file. Today I typed something. I am continuing to typing here. I am continuing to typing like this. So something I typed here. Again we want to save this file. Otherwise what to type here. I want to continue to typing this file. Again I am typing something. I changed something in this file. Again we want to save this one. Suppose we are not saving this one. Without saving we are closed means what we type it today that and all it is deleting. So again I want to save this file means you can click save button automatically it is saving today data also. Next to I am explaining about save as. Save as why we are using means already I saved this document on the name of computer. Suppose I want to change this file name and that time I am using to save as command. You can click save as. Now I want to change a file name. Suppose I am giving computer 2. You can click save button. So now our document name is changed. Save as we command we are using to change the file name. Next to print. I want to take a print out this button. I am giving print. I am selecting print button. See under print it is showing so many options. First you want to select. I am created 10 pages of files here. How many pages do you want to take a print? You can select it. Suppose current page only you want to take print. Suppose all pages I want to take a print. Otherwise you can give me a page number also here. Suppose I have a 10 pages only. Seventh page I want to take a print out. You can press the seven number. Only that number print out it is coming. Next how many copies do you want? It, so here you can press this button means it is increasing the numbers. Suppose I want to take a four copies per print out. Suppose you are pressing this button means it is decreasing the value. How many copies do you want? You can enter here. So print what? Document. I want to print a document only. So here it is asking print range. So even pages do you want to print, add pages do you want to print, all pages do you want to print, you can select it. Pages for sheet. How many pages do you want to one page? 
I want to do pages for a sheet. How many pages do you want in one sheet? You can select it. I am selecting one page. Paper size also it is possible to select in here. I mean if you want to letter size, you want to legal size, which size do you want? You can select it. You can click OK button automatically that printer is there means automatically that print it is coming. How to take print also we know now. You want to take a print means we are clicking print button in file command. So print. Next to we want to close this document means we are using close button also. Close button also we are using. This is the main introduction of MS Word friends. In next class I am continuing remaining video. You can keep watching my videos. Daily I am uploading the videos MS Word videos. Tally RP9 videos also.